You're watching a pivotal scene in the movie Letters from Iwo Jima, but you'll be surprised to learn that they didn't film it on an island in Japan. It was filmed at Leo Carrillo State Beach in Los Angeles, which was transformed after being covered by six truckloads of black sand that was mined at the Mojave's Pisgah Crater. All right, it's 10.42 a.m. Sunday, November 21st. I am taken off by myself, which of course is never smart, but it's really tough getting people to go with me on trips like this. Uh, plus being retired, you know, you got all the time in the world, which is uh, the greatest luxury there is. At approximately 25,000 years of age, Pisgah is considered the youngest of the four large craters in the Lavik Lake volcanic field. Pisgah's summit is now 100 feet shorter after it was excavated by the Mount Pisgah Volcanic Cinders Mine for ballast that was used by the Santa Fe Railroad. The crater is currently owned by CanCal Resources, a Canadian company that specializes in the exploration of precious minerals in California. But by all appearances, their operations have been shut down for at least 30 years. Pisgah's lava flows extend 11 miles to the west of the crater and 5 miles to the southeast. The lava is primarily basalt of the Pahoyhoy texture. There is no reliable date of when Pisgah crater last erupted, but most geologists agree that Pisgah is the youngest of the four volcanoes in the Lavik Lake volcanic field. More than anything else, Pisgah Crater is famous for its lava tubes. Geologists have identified 300 of them in various sizes, 20 of which are large enough for a person to walk through. For safety purposes, always go with a group, and because of the extreme heat, it's crucial not to go out onto the lava in the summertime. <laughs> 